SpaceX success will likely mean the end of an era for Russia's Soyuz capsule. For years, it's been the only ride to the International Space Station and a big moneymaker for Russia. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer visited Moscow for a tour of a Soyuz facility. And liftoff. You might call Soyuz the old faithful of space travel. We found veteran American astronaut Steve Bowen in Moscow training for a flight. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's reliable, it's incredible, it's worked for a long time. The Soyuz is really the workhorse of space exploration. The basic design goes back to the 1960s, and in use ever since, this spacecraft has racked up more than 1,600 successful flights. Granted, it's not built for comfort. And for each cramped seat like this, NASA pays the Russians about $83 million. The U.S. and Russian space programs started out as a Cold War race. Russia won round one when it put the first man, Yuri Gagarin, into orbit. And then the U.S. took the lead with the moon landing. But after 1989, the fierce competition became a collaboration. And ever since, cosmonauts and astronauts have worked as a team on the International Space Station. Sergei Prokopiev spent 197 days in orbit. Back home, he showed me around a Soyuz capsule, like the one he rode in with an American colleague. That's her on the left. Usually we are friends and uh, we know our families and uh, mm. it's very helpful for us because uh, uh, during flight, uh, we can understand uh, who is who. Mm -hmm. For decades now, Soyuz has blasted off and bumped back down. And touched down. SpaceX's launch may mean the end for this old workhorse, but it's not gone quite yet. <laughs> Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Star City, Russia.